everyone, my name is Troy, and today we're going to be reviewing, um, something a little bit bigger. Today we're going to be reviewing, Skill Saw. So here we are, and you got Skill Saw here in his, um, alien, let's just say alien, uh, saber tooth mode, and... This is a big transformer for me. Um, I mean, it's not as big as, um, as was, um, traction, but this is still a bigger transformer for me. It took me a little bit longer to design and figure out. This guy is to uh, the robot mode is totally the opposite of this guy. This guy is athletic. Uh fast and the robot mode is fat clunky and very unproportioned uh, considering that all of the body meshes up into one big rather sumo wrestler like body and these hind legs become the feet and all that it's very very interesting to see but yeah, it's very cool. Um, so, he looks good in his saber tooth mode. Um, uh, you got these bars here. You can do whatever you want with them. You can have them back. You can have them forward. I like to have them forward. But it, it I think it does look a little bit better if they are back. But I just have them up forward to... Um, Help the aesthetic of hiding the robot mode head. And if you have good eyes, you can kind of see it in there. But anyway, um, yeah, he is an interesting thing. Uh, you got some nice panel lines here, which just happen to be, uh, nice, nicely put. Um, won't end up that way. Uh, when it comes down to robot mode, um, you got a very articulate tail here, you got, um, hinge here, hinge here, and a hinge here, and you can even turn the end of the tail if you want to, so, there you go, and legs, uh, legs, um, for the front can go out, uh, about that far, and they got a bend at the elbow, and that's about it. The back legs are a little bit more articulate. You got uh, full 360 here. Um, you kind of have an elbow, but that's more for transformation, and you can go out and in, and you can go in with these two, but... Not that far. So, yeah. Um, let's get down to transformation. Transformation on this guy is very, very, very finicky. But, um, I think I will do it on camera, so... It's not a definite transformation, but... It does get a couple of things done to make this guy have a robot mode. So, what you want to do first is... Gosh, this guy was a pain in the butt. Um, what you want to do first is you want to just take the cheeto, uh, the saber tooth mode and just extend it like that. Um, want to take the tail and bend it back just a little bit. Take the legs, bring them down like that, and take the cheetah legs and fold them back into the legs. Look at that. So you got you got the robot mode base robot mode legs basically done. Um yeah. So now what you want to do is you want to uh, take this back section. Actually no you don't. Never mind. Uh you want to take these you want to take this panel, flip it forward, and you want to take this panel 
fold it out, bring it down. Same with the other side. And there you go. Got that for right now. That's not how it's going to be in the future of the robot, but there you go. Um, now what you want to do is you want to take this back section and you want to... Um, if it'll cooperate with me. There you go. You want to split it like that. And you can take these red panels and flip them in the into the body like that and there you go and you got you have the robot mode i'm just kidding <laughs> it's like a half transformed robot you want to take these sections and bring them down uh you want to take this red section and make it flush with the gray section that holds it there uh, you want to flip out the hand, the arm like that, and flip out the robot mode hand like that. The same thing on the other side, of course. Only time you don't do that is when you have asymmetrical arms. Uh, so. Um, want to kind of lean all this stuff in. And, yeah, like I said, guys, this is very, very interesting when it comes down to transformation. Um, uh... Even I'm getting confused right now. Um, you want to rotate the legs the other way. There we go. Okay. Um, so, and it's going to connect to... It's going to connect to... I uh, can't see. My bad. Um... You got it like this, right? Uh, and you need to take this clip, and you need to clip it between here. And you want to keep these bars down for right now. And it's going to take a bit of fiddling around, but it, it will... Come on, don't make a liar out of me. Okay, there we go. Maybe that will work. I... Oh! Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. I goofed, everyone. Uh, you want to take this piece and just detach it from there for right now. And just put it on like that. And then now it will snap on there with... Once again... The greatest of ease. Alright, uh, so just put the leg back on. Put pieces back on that will fall off. And guaranteed, I bet you $100 that this guy will fall apart during transformation. I promise you he will. Uh, so, want to bring these bars down. Uh, be bars down. <laughs> Want to put these bars down. And yeah. Um, what we'll do next? Want to. See if you can br bring these up as far as you can. Uh, hmm. Actually no. I'm gonna take these pieces, fold them up. I'm sorry, guys. This is a really big guide to remember all these steps, too. It was. It was. This guy is much more complicated transformation wise than tra uh, traction was, so. Yeah.
if you're looking for complexity and you want to build this guy, then by all means, build this guy. Um, so, oh gosh, take off, you can see how the head stores in there, but I'm gonna put this back where it was, uh, so, I'm gonna take the top of the saber tooth head and flip it onto his back, and you want to fold in the teeth. Like that, and fold down the the uh, this piece, the top of the head, the top of the skull, or something like that. Something like that. I'm not sure exactly, but and we're getting done. Uh, you want to take the tail and just wrap it around, so you got that. And yes, that looks kind of wrong, but oh well. You want to raise this up as far as you can, like that. There we go. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> you have no idea how long it took me to figure out the transformation of this guy. It took a long, 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 long time to figure out this guy. Uh, you want to take these and bring... Never mind, no, no, no. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, confusion is very prominent with this guy. You want to take these and bring them down as far as they can go. Uh, never mind. Oh, man. You want to take these sections, just bring them back. It's 12 minutes and 23 seconds right now. And this guy is still being transformed. And you just want to force these down. Never, never mind. Alright. Okay. There we go. You want to take a... Uh, so you want it to look like that in the end of that horrible session. And you can take these, bring them down like that. Um, want to bring the arms forward, bend at the elbow, and then rotate them down. And then, we got that. And, here you go. Here you have Skillsaw in his robot mode. And, the, holy crap. You would never expect a sleek a saber-toothed tiger to end up transforming into a piece of crap like this. I mean, he's not as fat as a sumo wrestler, but he's just very dopey looking. He is very, I hate to say this, but he's very retarded. I, uh, I mean, everything about him is just dopey. I mean, if you look at him from the side, his uh, his legs are. Matched with his arms. I mean, his legs are matched with his head. But his arms are all the way... Wait a second. I'm going to see if I can... I'm going to see if I can hack this thing. Um... Okay, so, 
that obviously still wouldn't work because of how fat and how ugly and how retarded he is. And I keep on saying retarded a lot, and I'm sorry about that, but there's no other way to describe this guy. Um, if you want to build this guy, um, by all means do it. Um, but some advice before you do. This guy is mainly for the Jaguar, uh, ja Saber, uh, Sabertooth mode. I mean, this guy, you don't want to see the robot mode, and I'm showing it to you right now. And look how ugly this thing is. Then, of course, there's some c cool engineer ingenuity to it. And... Yeah, I like how the head just kind of compresses into the back of him. There's a big gap back here, which I really don't like. And you can easily just take the tail and kind of just fold it up into the back, and that fills it out. But now this section kind of looks gappy. So I don't I don't place my figures to the side of... um. Or facing the back of the wall. So I'm going to go for this. And yeah. But still I'm going to display this guy. Even if I keep him. I mean if I even keep this guy. I mean this guy's basically trash. I mean I forgot to show this off. I built a little weapon for him. I mean not little. I mean it's huge. But still I built this little uh, weapon for him. And... See, he even holds it like a retard. Okay, I'm sorry. But, uh, so, yeah, there you go. He's got a stability issue, kind of. I mean, he's got very small feet. I mean, as you can see, they're just these small little things. And one little touch, and he's down. One little touch to the back, and he's down. So... Yeah, this guy's very, very, very funny. It's hilarious how this guy looks. It's just hilarious. I mean, you can actually leave this down and leave these up to be like his collar. But still, he looks very retarded. And this is probably the most times I've ever said retarded in my whole lifetime. This guy is... This guy's retarded. Um, so, on this happy note, um, let me know what you think of this guy. Um, I'm not going to do instructions on this guy. Um, if you want instructions for this guy, you're out of luck. And I'm assuming that you would want the instructions for the Jag... The Jaguar mode, I mean, the Sabertooth mode. But other than that, this guy's just crap. Um, so, yeah. There we go, and you got this little thing. So, yeah, this is Troy signing out.